After that really sad quest we did last time, let's do something more a little, you know, lighthearted. A little fun. So we're gonna do some flying practice, being a majiggies. And to do that we need to go here. There are two different locations. We need to practice flying near the spires and we need to practice flying near Kinbridge Tower. It's one of the professor's assignments. And if we do this, we'll learn a new spell. Which is awesome. And we're gonna need them all. To collect them all. Super spells. Oh, we're almost there. It's been a quiet flight so far. Ooh, I also see balloons. Usually five. Should we go and pop them? Hey, ho, we, ho, he, ho, he, ho. That's what I'm talking about. I missed them. Bloop. A little lower. Oh, got it. Ah, oh, you thought you could escape me, huh? And you're wrong. Right. If we do this five times, so five times five balloons, we'll get some sort of reward. Okay. I'll be on the lookout for more balloons. Mm. It's also like flying practice. Am I right? Speaking of. There's one. This one is blue. Oh wait. This is part of the part of the course, isn't it? I mean normally. Or is this Oh wait, I think that this is what we need to do. Yeah, okay. This is the this is the lesson we have to do. Well, I'm a little bit disappointed because it's not really a, a track or anything. It's just you can pop them whichever way you want. But I guess it's just all about learning, you know, to handle your broom better. Okay, so we missed one. Mm, let's see. Let's retrace our steps. Balloon. Distraction. Ooh. Oh, that's part of a Merlin trial. The blue bells. Oh, that doesn't look good. Highly contagious. This was supposed to be lighthearted, fun. And then we find a dead lady and another dead person underneath that tarp over there. Whoa, whoa, what's what's going on? This is not the happiness of the first Harry Potter movie. This is the the sadness of the last two. <laughs> All right. Popped it. There we go. There we go. All right. Next. See that one marker is still activated, and it's starting to annoy me. I need to go this way. Perhaps I just need to reload my game or something in order to delete that marker. Might be a better idea, but. For now, I'm just gonna keep on going. It's 800 meters away. I see a distraction. Okay. One. A two. A three. Oh, almost a four. And where is the fifth one? Five, that makes five balloons. Ha, 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 ha. Or something like that. 
Oh, I was about to say, if your country has that character from the Muppets in Sesame Street, but I think that's, you know, a worldwide phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, focus, yes, yeah, sorry. All this air must be going to my head. 400 meters that way. And a flying test, which probably means pop in five more balloons. Uh, I think I already see him. There on my right. Is there like a nice starting point, maybe? There are also turbos you can get, which would make the job easier. But they're assuming that I can fly in a straight line, which I can't. So, yeah. Okay. Where's the beginning? All over there. Ooh. What's this then? Uh oh, enemies. Wee, wee, wee. Warning, warning, warning. Do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. Focus on the balloons. Yeah, kill you guys later. God. Flippin' sake. Flippendo sake. Okay, straight, going straight, going straight, because I popped it. Yay. Oh, whoa, 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 got it. Final one. Bluff. Ah, la 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 la, sake. Pop it. Good. That's it. Oh, it also completes the pop balloon challenge. We can return to Madam Ko Kogawa. Kogawa? Is that how you pronounce that? The flying lady class Rebellion. teacher thingy. That one. Before I go, I want to look around here. This is like half a castle. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Ooh. Enemy. It's a scout. Why is he scouting over here? What's here? Might be that this is a location that we, you know, need to visit for a quest of some sort. But well, you know, curious. What can I say? Rebellion. Well, I do see multiple enemies. Wow. Hey, both of them are flying now. That is cool. Hey, 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 I was focusing on your friends, mate. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> Barrel flew over there. Ouch. It cost me a potion. Bastard. Okay, there are a little more enemies than I expected. But I'm committed now. Oh, poops. There's a purple shield. I don't have a purple spell equipped. Ah, oh, so does he. Well, that's annoying. Uh, let's switch. Fuck's sake, select two of them. Nope. Come on. Ha! The wall is protecting me. Well, most of the time. Why are you here? Ah, I know he has a yellow set. Because it is doing that to piss me off. Hang on. Pause all combat, please. Thank you very much. Bloop. There we go. Oh, 
Try getting your shield up now, huh, buddy? Alright. Now, are we doing this just for loot, or is there something special here? So some enemies to go. Well, we're also, you know, upgrading our skills and stuff like that, so it's, it's all good. Locked door. Ooh, treasure. Collection updated. Nice. It's a little yellow box. There's a lot of loot here. So, it's already worth my while. Get him, yeah. Oh no. That's behind the wall. Hello, enemy. Got him. First spell went through the ground. Didn't really work that way. Oh, he's trying to escape. That's funny. Haven't seen that before. Gotta stop hitting the ground. Focus on that guy. Good. I have a stubborn wand. Huh. Don't listen to that out of context. Um. Well, well, I don't know if there's anything special here besides loot, but there wasn't anything else besides loot, so I teleported my ass back to school. Back. Now I'm here for have my reward, my new spell. Let's have a little chat. Reporting back, Professor. Assignment's all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Arresto momentum. Noise. Squiggly line. I used to draw birds like this. You know birds from far away? No? You didn't? Oh, I did. Alright. Add it to the collection. Well, that might be useful. I usually just, you know, roll the boulders, <laughs> see where they'll go. But, you know, now we can actually control them. So, good. Okay, we need to practice. I recommend practicing your new Bob. spell as much as you want. That's it. Keep it up. All right. Bedem. Goaga's assignment two is done. Yay! Oh, there's still some dialogue. So a little chat. Professor, do you have a moment? Yes. What is it? In class, I heard you mention the Toyohashi Quidditch team. I did. The Toyohashi Tengu are from Japan. Dominant. Known for their rigorous training. They practice near the Mahutokoro School of Magic, often battling both tempestuous seas and violent storms in addition to each other. Tournament play is almost always easier for the Tengu than their training sessions. I take it you're a fan. Fan? <laughs> I was being groomed to play on their team. And I would have been a Tengu, if not for a bit of bad luck. If you were that good, I can't believe a bit of bad luck could end your entire Quidditch career. I was excellent. My ability on a broom had nothing to do with what happened. I was betrayed by someone I trusted. Myself. I did not see clearly, and I paid a dear price. My best friend Asuka and I were being groomed to play on the team together. I as keeper, and she as chaser. She was breathtaking. She once corkscrewed through three players and scored before they even turned their heads. 
But as trials for the Tengu got closer, she panicked. I did not realize the extent of her panic until it was too late. She wanted so desperately for both of us to play together that she had slipped Felix Felicis into our tea before we were to show them our skills. Liquid lock. That's illegal, isn't it? It is indeed. I knew within minutes that something was different. I had never played so well. And Asuka was playing more beautifully than I had ever seen. When I confronted her afterwards, she admitted what she had done. I withdrew from consideration immediately. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't know about the potion in the tea. It does not matter. My flying that day was not my own. I could not live with myself. So, I withdrew and explained to them why. I burned my broom in disgrace. What happened to Asuka? Did she burn her broom as well? Asuka played with the Tengu for two seasons. You didn't report her? Tell them what she'd done? Her fate was not mine to decide. My fate is in my hands, as your fate is in yours. Thank you, Professor. I shall remember what you've told me. Wise words, indeed. I like those backstories. Interesting. 